Hey, this is Dr. Green, and today we're going to talk about lower back pain stemming from the golf swing. Uh, so usually when we see this, uh, one of the first things that we evaluate besides uh, trying to figure out what the specific injury is to the lower back is we're always going to look at hip range of motion because hip range of motion during the golf swing typically has a huge influence on whether or not somebody is going to develop back pain. So one of the things that we look at is uh, the ability of the hips to internally and externally rotate, okay? Usually, limitations in internal rotation on either hip is going to cause back pain, and I'll show you why. So, during the golf swing, first on the back swing, we need adequate hip internal rotation on the back leg in order to get into that back swing position. If we're limited in hip internal rotation on the back leg, usually what we'll find is when somebody goes into that backswing, they run out of room early and it causes them to stand up a bit and then laterally flex through the lower back to be able to make up that range of motion. Oftentimes, at least uh, with golf professionals, this is referred to as a reverse spine angle. Okay. So limited hip internal rotation on the back side causes us to stand up and then laterally flex through the back and then close that down, which is just a lot of excessive motion through the lower back that can lead to pain. Similarly, on the front side, if we run out of hip internal rotation on the front during the downswing, as soon as I go to shift weight towards that side and follow through, I need to be able to internally rotate on that side. If I can't, something similar happens. I'll have to stand up and the rest of the range of motion comes through the lower back, which is going to lead to a deeper side bend, which oftentimes leads to either right-sided or left-sided lower back pain. So usually when somebody comes in with back pain, we have to figure out what structure is involved in the low back, but we're also gonna look at whether or not the hips are moving as they should to figure out if we can see why that back pain started in the first place. Then, not only are we gonna treat the back injury, but we're also gonna fix some of that mobility restriction if we can in the hips, so that when they do get back to golfing, uh, maybe they can work with their pro, get a couple lessons to be able to get their technique sound, and solve that root cause to make sure that they don't end up getting back pain when they do get back on the course. So hope that's helpful.